When you're using brushes in Illustrator, you might find that the brushes seem to have no additional colour. So you might sort of have a brush here, say it's a black design, and you think, well, I don't want to paint with black, I want to actually paint with maybe a red colour. Now, of course, you can edit the source brushes, but I'm just going to quickly show. Now, these are from graphicextras.com. They're curved brushes. Right, I've opened the library already, but I'll quickly show you how to open the library. Window menu and brushes. So you've got the, the actual palette there. Then go to the open brush library and other library. Now, like I said, I've already opened the brushes, so I have to do that. So got all the brushes here. Selection, you can just select them. As soon as you select them from in the actual library, they're added to the document library. So you can just add them there. Like I say, they're actually displayed as black. So if you, you paint them, I just quickly paint, say one of these brushes, I'll select that one. Just quickly paint that. That's just displayed as black. Now you can't change that at that point. So the way of doing it is actually go into the brushes palette and select the brush. Now just double click on it bring up the various methods now depending on the brush some brushes have the colorization set to be tint but here just put tints that's probably the easiest one quickly just set that to tints and then click OK apply to stroke of course if you haven't got uh, anything selected it's not going to change so, so then just go over to the swatches say select red you can just go through the various colours and change the colours quickly. Now I'll just quickly go to another brush, one that's got a bit more colour. So just going to drag that over so you can actually see that's the brush. So it's got obviously multiple colours there. And I'm just going to apply that now to a brush stroke. So I'll just quickly apply a brush stroke. And of course it's displayed as is. Now again, just quickly go to double click the brushes and tints. And then you'll actually see it goes black, well, grey, obviously depending on the uh, the colours that were there before. So just going to quickly, just going to click OK there, apply to strokes. Yep, I will do that. And now I go to uh, change the red. You will see you've still got the actual sort of design, but it's actually coloured at that point. Now, of course, like I say, you can actually edit the, if you've got the, brush in the, the uh, document you can actually go to drag the brush out here and you could actually modify it and then add it back into it. so just double click into it just change the color there so you can do that way if you wish and then drag that back into the brushes palette click OK and then you've got the brush with the new color